Today we're going to be talking about our new MM3 module and it's easy, no tools needed latch adjustment, or we like to say push to set. I have the module out of the device right now for demonstration purposes, but you would not need to take off the end cap or filler plate in the field. And we're going to start off here by showing you a device set incorrectly. So we're going to see it retract here and the latch bolt is hanging out. We can see that would be caught up. In case you have a vertical rod bar, you can also tell by seeing that there is movement here in the pad. So I'm going to go ahead and set a new location for this device. Start by depressing the push pad to the new location. I'll have my assistant apply power. Then there's going to be a series of six beeps, roughly five seconds. When those are done, I'm going to release the push pad in power and refire. And now we can see it's learned its new location. And there is no more movement in that push pad. Next, we're going to run through the MM3 beep diagnostics. And the first code up is two continuous beeps, which is over voltage, over 31 volts. So you're going to want to readjust your power supply to the operating range, which is 22 to 30 volts. The next code is going to be three continuous beeps, which means your power supply is putting out under 20 volts. Here we're showing 15. You want to readjust your voltage to the operating range, which is between 22 and 30. Next, five beeps is going to be a forced release. Say a cart came by and knocked the push pad out. You know, five beeps and it's going to automatically refire. And here we have our MM3 unplugged to simulate our six beeps, which is switch wires not making contact or it's not seeing the switch. And you're going to hear six beeps, long pause, and another six beeps. And when you hear that, you're going to want to unplug from power or cut off power. Check your connection on the MM3, make sure all the wires are in the connector and pinned correctly. And once that's connected, you can connect power again. Set a new location by depressing the pad, waiting for the six beeps, and refire to the new location, and you've solved the six continuous beeps. And for the seven beeps, it starts out as a five, a forced release. But when the device goes to refire, but the obstruction prevents it from firing. And so you're going to have a continuous seven beep code. And what you want to do is check for the obstruction. And once you've removed the obstruction and the push pad moves freely again, you're going to hold the push pad down and wait for those seven beeps to stop. And once they're done, release the push pad and refire.